Hey friends, welcome to the channel. If you like to listen to audiobooks to improve your foreign language skills and ask yourself where to get the best ones for the language you are learning, you found the right video. Los geht's! My name is Dustin. I'm an IT project manager from Germany. On this channel, we create content that helps us to be more productive, to learn new things, especially languages, and to live a happier and more fulfilling life. Today, we're going to compare four of the biggest audiobook providers from a language learner's perspective. Audible, Script, BookBeat, and Storytel. We'll be taking a look at their cost, available languages, user interface, and other additional features. By the end of this video, you'll have all the information you need to choose the best audiobook provider for your language learning needs. Oh, wait, but before we start, let's have a nice sip of coffee. Ah, los geht's. So first of all, why should we listen to audiobooks in a foreign language? Audiobooks are a great way to improve our listening comprehension. I do it, for example, like this. First, I read a book in a foreign language and afterwards, I listen to the content in a spoken form. This way, although I not only have the um, yeah the reading comprehension, but also the listening comprehension. And of course, if you want to just start and you are just at a lower intermediate stage, I can really highly recommend to choose a book that you have already read, like Harry Potter, for example. And I've already made a video about how you can actually read a novel in a foreign language and where to start. And I will also link it somewhere here. First of all, Audible. Audible is part of Amazon and Premium Plus members get credits good for any titles in the premium selection. This means one credit is one title. Of course, there are sometimes some special discounts where you get two titles for one credit, but in general it's one credit, one title. And note that after one year, credits are expiring in the US version. In the EU, however, they don't expire, at least in Germany, but I guess it's the same in other European countries. If you cancel your subscription, however, you lose your credits, so spend them before that, the audiobooks you can keep. Premium Plus members get also access to exclusive sales as well as 30% off all premium selection purchases or all additional premium selection purchases. In terms of pricing, in the US it's $15 per month and in Germany it's 10 euros per month. This means one credit per month for an audiobook of your choice. Uh, thousands of included audiobooks and podcasts and originals and more you can find in the Plus catalog. This means you don't have to pay for each title. Harry Potter in your chosen language is for example for free and uh, it has in general a very good and extensive catalogue of interesting and current titles. Not just filler but actually bestseller and you can access a wide range of languages but the original titles etc are just for your main language of which you have a subscription which is kind of a pity. Because of copyrights to have full access and especially also to original podcasts you, could, you would also need to create an account in each region. That works, but it can get expensive, so make sure to always cancel the subscription again. Nevertheless, with my German account, I can still get, for example, Harry Potter or Sapiens from Yuval Noah Harari in a bunch of different languages. Next one, Script. Subscription model with a flat rate for all the titles available. It's like $9 per month or 10 euro per month in Germany. 30-day um, free trial available, no different account for different regions. You can always switch between languages just with one account. Despite a high number of books available, many bestsellers are not there, like Harry Potter for example. So make sure to do some searches for stuff that you would like to listen to in order to know if it makes sense. There's also lots of filler material unfortunately, so don't get trumped by the sheer amount of stuff but rather look for quality. We can consume it all, so we should make sure to only spend our time on stuff that is actually interesting. Many other goodies are also available, like ebooks, like magazines, podcasts, and other stuff available. Next one is BookBeat. Um, you have different models. So in Germany, for example, it's 10 euro for 25 hours per month of listening time, or it's 17 euro for 100 hours, and you get a 30 day free trial. Um, available content is dependent on your account. So if you have an Italian account, for example, there will be way more material available in the language than, for example, with the German account. Um, despite a high number of books available, many bestsellers not, like Harry Potter, for example. So make sure to do some searches for stuff that you would like to listen to. Same spiel as before. A nice bonus is nevertheless that you can also find ebooks on this platform. 
Next one, Storytel. Different models again. Germany, for example, has for 8 euro 20 hours per month or unlimited for 15 euro. In Italy, it's 10 euro per month for unlimited listening. So as you can see, it really depends on the region you subscribe to. And you can subscribe to any region you want. So you don't need to be in that country or to reside in that country to create an account for a different country. I've tried that out. So also here, seven day free trial available, same as with BookBeat and uh, content is dependent on your account. So if you have an Italian account, for example, there will be way more material available in that language than for example with a German account. Um, there's still Italian books there, but not as many. Further, a German account, for example, is even restricted to German, English, Turkish, Swedish, Spanish, Italian, Polish and Arabic. French is not even included in that list, all due to the copyrights. To verify that, I've created an Italian and a German account. And if you have a look at the searches, you can see the difference between those two. Despite a high number of books available, many bestsellers are not, like Harry Potter, for example. Again, same as before. So make sure to do some searches and yeah, see if it makes sense. Also, there are Storytel originals available, which are essentially podcasts specifically made for Storytel. So they are financing that stuff. And you can also get ebooks there, which is a nice bonus. To choose the right provider depends for me mainly on the availability of materials in the languages I'm learning. The costs of the different platforms are not that different. I think Audible offers the most material for a wide range of languages, even if you have just one account. I would say if you are learning multiple languages, just go with Audible. Nevertheless, make sure to make a subscription for the right country. So the one which language you want to focus on the most. If you are learning one specific language and are listening quite extensively, a flat rate provider like Storytel can make sense. But then, then on the other hand, if you first read a book and then listen to it, this takes already quite some time and probably one credit per month is already sufficient. Remember to take advantage of the free trials offered by each provider to try them out for yourself and see which one you like the best and also how different the offer is depending on the country for which you create the account. Please let me know in the comments down below if you like this video and which audiobook provider you are using or plan to use. If you want to know how to create your own audio files using text-to-speech, I've already made a video about that. Or if you want to work on your pronunciation, have a look at this playlist. Also, make sure to leave me a like and a subscription to the channel. And to not miss anything going forward, click on the notification bell. Thank you very much for watching and see you the next time.